Hey everybody, what's going on? Jerome here, and I have for you guys a quick little announcement before this video goes live, and that is that I'm very, very proud to announce that if you don't follow me on social media, I actually had a book release in the past week. It's been really awesome. You can find them in a lot of stores like Barnes & Noble, but not only that, you can grab them on Amazon as well, and I decided to do a little bit of a giveaway on my channel, so what I'm going to do is have you guys go over to Twitter. I have a link to where the tweet is, and all you have to do is favorite that tweet, and then from there, I'm going to be doing a giveaway of five books for all you guys out there to see what you guys think about it. So once again, go to the description, check out the tweet, and more importantly, favorite that. And if you really are feeling nice, it'd be awesome if you could leave a nice rating on Amazon if you have the book already and you really believe it's something you'd like to read. So anyway, guys, apart from that, take care, everybody. Peace out, and uh, see you all later. Hello everybody, what's going on? Jerome here, and welcome back to an awesome episode of Crazy Craft! And in today's episode, I was looking through the comments section, and I got a lot of cool ideas for what I was gonna do. So it turns out the MC Heli mod is actually in Crazy Craft, and a few people recommending I do that. So I pulled up a thing about three of my favorite types of flying machines that I'm gonna spawn into the game here, so we can get helicopters, planes, and things like that. So, we got some cool aircraft on the way, and then not only that, we're gonna build ourselves some ultimate gear, and... Yeah, so it's it's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. We got a dual purpose episode that I'm happy with. If you're wondering, I did have to do a little bit of mining off camera because it would have taken forever to get all the iron necessary for you guys for, uh, well, for this video because there's going to be a lot of iron needed. Not just for the ultimate gear, which you don't need that much for, but some of these aircraft really do take a lot, a lot of iron. In fact, most of them are only made specifically out of iron. So I figured we could do that, and then also we're gonna have to do is set up a nice little landing strip area. Just, well, just for the fun. We don't really need a landing strip, but I mean, what's the point of having all these cool things if you don't have an awesome landing strip that they can land on? So I figure what we could do for it is if I can find my emerald pickaxe. Apparently I'm a little bit blind to Rooney. I can't find it. There we go. I'm gonna go down below, and we're gonna collect ourselves some stone, and the reason we're gonna get the stone is just because I wanna make the, uh, and so make a landing strip out of just pure stone. I think it would look nice and clean, you know what I mean? Just to have it like that. And we don't need much. I mean, the landing area will be like four wide, and we'll make it like... We can even make it like 20 long, so we're going to need like 80 pieces. We're not really going to need the most in the world. It's just, you know, I just want to make it look something clean and something nice and something fun for us to have. So, it's not nothing really serious, you know, but... I want, I want that aesthetic appeal about it. Also, guys, between this episode, I don't know if you noticed outside, the enchanted golden cows were put into an iron cage just because, well, you know, I realized quickly, with fences, the termites are going to eat them. <laughs> so, yeah, it probably is in our best interest to get the iron cage going. So that's what we did, and ooh, more iron, look at that, just, just like that. We already got, what the heck was that? Is that, oh, it's a potion of instant health. Okay. I was like, I forgot that they hide, I forgot that they start hiding potions in blocks that you break. I was like, what the heck was that noise? I was like, is there a witch? I'm like, there better not be a witch down here. I want to die. I'm not ready to die. It's just not what I was meant to do. And, okay. Oh, geez. We have way over. We have actually just, well, there we go. For one short of a hundred, we might as well get a hundred. And we can bring these all topside. There we go. And look, out that little area there. Okay. And we can find a solid area that'll work for us to build our little base here. Or not our base, but you know what I'm talking about. That can build our little landing strip. So, uh, right here actually going horizontally wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. So we can make it... Yeah, we can go right here. Or we'll just go outward like that. Just until we think it's like big enough. Sheep, get out of here! This is, a, this is a professional landing strip going on here. You can't just be walking out in the middle of the way like that. And remember, guys, be sure to comment down below what you want to see next episode of Crazy Craft, because I'm always happy to do fun and unique things on this series. And, uh, and yeah, I usually get the ideas from them from the comments section. I read almost all the comments I get, and believe me, they're in the thousands on this series, because you guys are just as excited about it as am I. So just... Yeah, let me know, and we can get to work on that. That'd be a lot of fun, actually, for, you know, future episodes. There we go. We'll have to bring this across here. Oh, we'll pick that up. And then we'll... Boom, shagalaka! And that looks like a solid landing area. We'll also build just a little... A little bit of a, a wall right there, and perfect! Now we have this little landing strip area. So, it's nothing too serious, but it is kind of fun, and it's just, you know, it's something to do there. And now, before we go ahead and make ourselves some of our aircraft, I think it's in our best interest if we go ahead and do what most of you have been waiting for and build that ultimate gear. So let's see how we're going to be able to do this. 
All right, so we got plenty of titanium. We're just going to break the titanium up into little tiny shards like that. Ingots. Going to take the uranium, build that into ingots. We already got enough iron ingots, and now we are ready to go. So to build the chest plate, it's got to be something like that. There we go, we have the ultimate chest plate. If we want to go ahead and build ourselves a ultimate uh, leggings, we're going to have to go down here, and then put one, two, and then put, I believe it's that. Yeah, there we go, ultimate leggings. It's really good armor. I'll showcase what ultimate gear does for you in a second here, but believe me, guys, you're, if you don't know what it is, you're not going to be disappointed. It is quite possibly... I mean, it's not the best armor in the game. You can get some crazy stuff in Crazy Craft. But it's a lot better than anything we have seen. So, this is what our gear looks like now. Ultimate Boots of Protection 5. Fire Protection 5. Blast Protection 5. Protection, or projectile Protection 5. Feather Falling 3. And we have a lot of other cool ones like that. And then we can also go ahead and build ourselves a little sword Rooney. It's going to be, once again, better than any sword we've had so far. I believe... Oh, that's not how you build it. So how you build it? Then how do you build it? How do you go and build a sword like that? Is that a bit Okay, so the ultimate sword makes a little bit of sense. It has an iron hilt, you know, because I guess it's well, it's definitely a lot better than anything we've used before. Look at that, forty attack damage. And keep in mind, the armor itself has like similar properties to the uh, attack damage. So you know, this has plus forty attack damage. The armor is is ridiculous as well. It's probably about five or six times better than diamond, if I had to guess. So it's it's all good. It's all very good stuff for us. And also, I want to start building some of the more creative weapons in Crazy Craft. So let me know if you have any that come to mind. Like, if you're like, oh, Jerome, I really want to see you use the giant chainsaw or even build, like, Big Bertha. I don't know how difficult those things are, but I'm happy to learn and happy to, to try my best with it. So just let me know down below in the comments section, and that way I can get to work on that. So here we go. We've got the landing strip. We've got ourselves the ultimate gear now, which is pretty insane. We'll, we'll build some ultimate tools as well uh, in due time whenever we need them. And now we can get to work on getting some of the cooler stuff in the mod as well. So here we go. Or the cooler aircraft, I should be saying. There we go. So we'll cut that up like that. And then we can do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We'll do 8. We're going to need a lot more than 8, actually. We'll just do 9 for now. And boom, and let's get to work on one of them. So one of the main ones you can build is just like that, really easy, and that's the Apache Longbow. So that's a huge aircraft, and I'll hop in there real quick. We're also going to be able to build ammo and weapons for it. On another episode, I'll be able to armor myself up, because I want to do some of the other guns from this mod at a later time. So basically, I want to do that all together. So we're going to get weapons for it, like missiles, machine guns, things like that, in another episode, as well as build turrets and things like that, and really make our base into, like, a military stronghold, if you will. There we go. So, we're about to go up. Ah, what the heck? Did we just... That was the weirdest thing. It kind of just, like... It didn't even know what to do with us. There we go. I guess we weren't in the pilot seat? Because that was super weird. That was like extra, extra, extra weird. Alright. Well, we're ready for takeoff. In just a little bit here. We do exactly need fuel though. And for fuel, we're going to need apparently gunpowder and iron. Which I did not actually know that. So we'll be right back. Alright everybody, so I went off hunting for a little bit and collected some gunpowder, and it turns out that's not how you build fuel, actually, I misread that. That's only how you get yourself some weapons. But luckily I found out how to make coal as well. So pretty much what I'm saying is, we have weapons now, and we also have fuel, so we can fly this thing around, maybe fire off a couple of rounds on this thing, and we could also try out some of the more awesome types of uh, aircraft. We have a Harrier jet coming next, as well as a miniature awesome little guy that'll be able to help us out. So there we go, fueling up. And boom, boom. That's enough. We want to keep the other three for the other uh, aircraft. But here we go, everybody. We're going up in the sky now, and we are ready to fly. And we could use the chain gun once again, so we'll use it on one of these guys here. Let's see if we can level our shot. It's kind of hard. Ah, uh, no, that didn't work too well. Come on, get up, pull, pull up, pull up. Oh my God. There, I'm already down to 37 health. Okay, this is why we got. We definitely need some pilots lessons with this. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Well, how are we gonna land this? How are we gonna land this? All right, and we gotta be careful. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try and land carefully without crashing. Oh, okay, okay. So no harm done in the helicopter there. So we, we're learning a little bit at a time how to properly land. Let's just land it in a general area. All right, and I'm gonna vote good enough. There we go. Good enough. So we didn't destroy that, and uh, and we survived. So I guess we made it somewhere. 
which is good. So that's one of the aircraft, and it has different types of missiles as well. We can use that at the end of the episode when I'm ready to pick it back up. I just don't want to crash land in that bad boy. We also have this guy right here, the Little Bird, who I'm assuming hopefully will be a little bit more easy to control, as it is a tiny little aircraft. And actually, just because I know you guys have been waiting for it, I'm going to shoot off some of the missiles for this. So I'll, I'll go ahead and use the helicopter again. So we'll pick this up. There we go. If we if we can get oh god I got, I got put in the wrong seat I keep getting put in the wrong seat every once in a while I don't know why it puts me in like the turret seat or something there we go and we're gonna have to switch so here we go the weapon oh we actually oh, we don't have any other weapons okay so I guess the explosive ones is what I was thinking of where you need some fancy you know some very fancy uh, builds for an ammunition and apparently just the chain gun ammo is just built with some iron and uh, gunpowder, which makes sense, you know, some of the more, like, some more intense ones would be, you know, use probably some more explosives than that, alright, let's see if we can, uh, okay, we'll just hit next seat till we get in the driver, is that not the driver? I guess, oh, that's probably the driver's seat, let's, oh, we had it, we had it there, and, are we not able to take off? Why can't we take off in this bad boy? Oh, oh, we had it, for real that time! Uh, let's go with R. Come on. We're just going to have to keep hitting the seat. Next seat. Come on. Eventually we'll hit it. Eventually we're going to hit it. We have to hit it eventually. Or not. There we go. Nailed it. And now it needs to get itself some fuel. So we'll fuel this bad boy up. And up and at him. And you guys can see exactly what this one looks like. So this one isn't really known for any weapons. It's just quick for travel. It's a very safe way to travel. It's nice. It's fun. You know, you don't have to worry about getting shot down or anything unless, you know, one of our friend or Roonies, or not so friend or Roonies, decides to build, like, a turret gun and shoot us out of the sky. But there we go. A lot easier to control for sure. So we have that now as well. And the last one on our list is the Harrier Jet. So we can go ahead and build that. I'm just going to sleep this one off and we'll be able to build it. All right, everybody, so now we have the materials ready to go. We needed a piece of glass, which I apparently didn't have, to build the Harrier. But this one should be the most fun, and also the most dangerous, because I don't really know how to properly land this thing, so expect death is what I'm getting at. In fact, I'm going to put away my Amethyst Sword and my Emerald Pickaxe, because I'm really expecting to die. Like, there's no other way to put it, no way to sugarcoat it. Probably going to die here. All right, so we'll put that away in the Ultimate Gear chest. And I guess we're just going to, oh, you know, we should probably get rid of our other valuables as well, because we do have some ingots and stuff on us. Get rid of the gunpowder we worked hard to get. And here we go. See the lamb chopper, Rooney. All right, we got the full, full hunger bar now. And here comes the Harrier. I am absolutely terrified of getting, oh my god, that's so cool. And at the same time, it's so terrifying, because now I'm starting to really understand the gravity of the situation. Oh, we can also build a parachute at one point, too. That'd be pretty fun. Okay, so let's start turning the aircraft and see if we can get ready for takeoff. Alright, I don't know how long it takes to pull up. Hopefully we don't crash before then. Oh my god, we're up in the air. And look how fast we can travel with this now as well. That's so cool. And it's so easy to control. And I think the Harrier is pretty, pretty good for us just because I think it's one of the slower aircraft. So we'll probably be able to have a much easier job landing it. And, you know, Harriers are also known more so for hovering than anything. Well, look at that. We didn't crash. We actually safely landed the Harrier jet. No damage. So the helicopters we took damage in and the Harrier jet, we didn't take any damage in at all. But now we have a super way to travel and see our friends or even kill them if we find them on the server. So that could be pretty fun. We want to do a hunting episode. But that's about it, everybody. So I want to thank you guys for watching this awesome episode of Crazy Crap. Hope you all enjoyed. If you did, please, and click that like button. And be sure to comment down below with what you want to see next time on this episode. So Crazy Craft, everybody, is highly, highly done by recommendations from you all in the comment section. So just keep it up. Keep being awesome. And just know that I really appreciate it. Take care. Okay, everybody.